Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for pen testers. In this video, we're going to use PowerView in the GetNet group function to enumerate groups within our directory environment or Active Directory environment. So here on our screen again, you see that we have our download cradle. I'm gonna go ahead and select all and copy and then open up PowerShell. And all we have to do is literally just, again, import that. So we're gonna paste it. And our first command is going to be get net group. And running get net group will simply print out all of the different user groups within the domain itself. So here we have administrator, users, Hyper-V admins, we have domain admins, etc., enterprise admins and the like. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see that we have some of our generated uh, group objects. We have senior management, IT admins, engineering, and sales. So our next task then is to show you how we can enumerate the groups of specific users. So we're just going to go ahead and do get net group. And we will pick on username s.chisholm. And this will show the groups that our user s.chisholm is a part of within the domain environment. We can also do this if we just do net users s.chisholm domain, right? And we can query that from just a regular PowerShell without using PowerView. That's just part of Windows functionality. Uh, and you can see down here we have domain users and sales. Up here we have domain users and sales. So we can do this with our other users. So let's pick on j.taylor for a moment as well because j.taylor is going to be useful later on in the course. And you can see he's a member of domain users and IT admins. We can also enumerate uh, the groups themselves. So rather than using the username, we can enumerate using the group name. So if we do get net group and we do group name, and here we'll do IT admins since we know Jedi Taylor is a member of IT admins. And then if we do full data, we can get all the information on the IT admins group. We get the same account name, which we already know. We get the SID. And down here we should get uh, members, right? So we have members Jonathan Taylor. Uh, distinguished names and, and the like. So if we want to look at something like say domain admins, we can just replace IT here with domain admins and we can see who our domain administrators are. This is an important query in a internal you know pen test because we would like to try to obtain domain administrator privileges along the way in order to try to take over the domain itself. And one of those ways is simply to gain access to a domain administrator account. It gives us an opportunity to look for those user accounts to see where and if we can exploit them. So here within this domain, we see that we have Aaron Adams, and we have the mayor, and then we have the administrator account. So this is just a few different ways that we can enumerate uh, user groups within our MayorSec domain using PowerView. Go ahead and play with it. Again, just scroll up and look at this list of user groups and see what you can find. Uh, and certainly ex uh, explore these bottom four too because these are our objects that we've created for the course and you can figure out what those users are doing as well. So hopefully you've learned something here and I'll see you over in the next lesson. Until then, thank you for joining.